Hi guys, welcome to Empower, and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much, as usual, for watching my YouTube channel. And in this Motivation Monday, I'm going to discuss releasing fear. There is a lot of fear associated with being a nurse and working in the hospital and having people's lives in your hands. There's a quite extraordinary amount of fear that can go along with that. And when I was a new nurse, I had just an incredible amount of anxiety and you know I didn't really know how to deal with so much responsibility and so I was extremely fearful. One of my earliest memories of being a nurse and really feeling an incredible amount of fear was I was actually um, I had a really hard day one day. Um, the day was so hard that um, you know I finished like two hours late it was just a very overwhelming day. And I remember that I had to come back the next day. So all night I was literally thinking about calling out, um, saying that I was sick or something like that. And I remember just, you know, pausing at that second. I really thought to myself, you know, I have to face life and I have to learn ways to deal with fear and stress and problems. And if I learn how to deal with this one little thing, then potentially it'll help me deal with other bigger problems later down the road. So at that time, I decided that I was going to just, you know, go with the motion and go into work. And I remember that as I was walking into work, I was literally physically shaking. The day had been that bad. Like, I'm not exaggerating, it was a bad day. So I was literally like shaking as I was walking in and I kind of stopped and I was like, you know, this isn't good. Like, I am so nervous. I've got a 12 hour shift in front of me and I need to figure this out ASAP. So at that moment, I started to think about what I was thinking about. And I realized that there were so many visuals in my head that were incredibly negative and unnecessary. I was literally seeing, you know, my patients in horrific situations, um, just, you know, exaggerating things like four or five, six, seven steps into the worst case scenario. And I realized that none of it had happened. I was just all in my head and my head you know, was skipping to these other steps without my permission. And so I realized that I had to change this, that this anxiety is not good. This is worrying and worrying is not good. So I decided to one by one, as I was walking in, replace the fearful images with positive ones. As simple as that sounds, it was, for me, it was life changing. I started to, um, be more positive about work. I started to be more positive about my patients. I started to be able to walk into work in a good mood and feel good and feel good about going back in the next day. And then when I did, of course, it's inevitable, we're going to have bad days. What I would do is that with that bad day was I would try to extract the lesson from it, but then again, replace it in my mind with what I wish would have happened or what the best case scenario of it happening would be. I think what this does is it helps me live with sort of like a healthy amount of fear um, because we're never gonna get rid of fear. Fear is here to stay. It's, you know, it's, it's already moved in. It's there, it's not going anywhere. And fear is very important. Fear, you know, it makes us think twice before, you know, we do something or it makes us pause and reflect or think about things. So fear is a very good thing. So we don't truly want to get rid of it. We just want to learn how to live with it in a positive nature. And that is honestly the best way that I've found is simply extracting the lessons and replacing the bad things with good images. All right, guys, I really hope this Motivation Monday helped you out a lot. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up if you have comments, I would love to read them. And next week, I'm going to be talking about my number one sugar craving technique. So how to decrease sugar cravings almost instantaneously and feel good. 
All right, I will see you then. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.